Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to buy the Rhinos Finance token using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. I'm going to be showing you guys everything they have to do in order to buy this token. But before we get started, I'm just going to let you guys know I do have daily cryptocurrency tutorials coming out on this channel, showing you guys how to buy, how to sell, and lots more. So if you guys are interested in the crypto space, I really recommend subscribing to this channel as I'll have lots of content coming out now and into the future. Anyhow, first things first here, we just want to go over to Trust Wallet and open that up. I'm just going to let you guys know as well, I'm not going to show you how to buy BNB or how to transfer BNB in this video, as well as not showing you how to create your trust wallet. If you guys need to learn how to do either of those two things, I'll have two tutorials linked in the description, as well as in the comment section for you guys to go check out first, and then come back to this video. But I'm going to assume you already have your BNB inside of your trust wallet, as well as having your BNB inside of your smart chain wallet. If you have your BNB in your BNB wallet, just click on BNB, click on more, and then click on swap to smart chain. If the BNB isn't in your smart chain wallet, it's not going to show up on PancakeSwap. So you just want to make sure you have it in your smart chain wallet. And then all we have to do is add the contract address for the token into Trust Wallet. So I'll have a link over to CoinMarketCap in the description and comment section for you guys to go ahead and click on. And then it will bring you over to CoinMarketCap which is right here. And all we have to do is go over to where it says contracts and click on that little copy button beside Binance Smart Chain right there. Click on that and then head back into our trust wallets. Once we're back in trust wallet here, we want to go to the top right of the screen where we see the two lines and two circles. Click on that. Then just go to the top search bar and paste that contract address in. Once you do that, you just want to click on add custom token. So just click on add custom token. And then here we want to change the network from Ethereum to Smart Chain. So we just click on that and then click it to Smart Chain. Then we can go ahead and paste that contract address in. And once you paste the address in there, for the name, we could just put Rhinos Finance. And then for the symbol, we could just put RHO. And then decimals for this token is 18. And once you guys put those things in, we can just go to the top corner where it says save and click on save. Once that is done, we'll have the RHO token inside of here. And now we can head over to PancakeSwap. So I'll have a link over to PancakeSwap in the description. So you guys can just head over there and I'll show you guys what to do next. Once you guys are on PancakeSwap here, we want to make sure we connect our wallets. So we just want to go to the top right of the screen where we see the Connect Wallet button and click on that. And instead of clicking on Trust Wallet here, we're actually going to click on Wallet Connect. Then here's going to show us all the wallets that you can connect to with Wallet Connect. So you can use MetaMask or any other wallet. But in this case, I'm going to be showing you guys with Trust Wallet. So you just want to click on Trust Wallet. Then it's going to open up this connection screen. So we just want to click on Connect and then head back over to our Trust Wallet. Or sorry, to our PancakeSwap. And we'll know our PancakeSwap is connected when we see our wallet icon up in the top right corner, as well as our balance of BNB right above the BNB logo. All we have to do now is click on Select a Currency, and then we just want to paste that same contract address we got from CoinMarketCap up in here as well. Once we do that, we'll see the Rhinos Finance token. So we just want to click on Import, I Understand, and then Import. Once you have the two tokens in there, all we have to do now is just change our slippage tolerance. So you just want to go to where you see that little settings gear and click on that. Once you click on the settings gear, you just have to change your slippage tolerance to 12% for this token. So you can just go right here and change this to 12%. Once it's changed to 12%, we can exit out of here. And now all we have to do is decide how much BNB we want to transfer into the RHO token. So let's just say, for example, I want to transfer 0.2 BNB. I can go ahead and type that in. Then it will show me the amount of the RHO token I'll get in exchange for my BNB. If you're happy with that, you can just click on that little swap button right below where it says insufficient BNB balance for me. Once you click on swap, it's going to show you a broken down version of your transaction, showing you your rates and fees and things like that. Now, if you're okay with what you see there, you want to click on swap one more time, and then you can go ahead and back over to your trust wallet. Once you're back in your trust wallet here, it should only take a couple minutes for the token to arrive. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out, showing you guys how to buy the RHO token using trust wallet and pancake swap. If this video did help you out. Be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.